Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon. Revelio. See you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Revelio. This place has seen better days. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio.
Revelio. In the market for potions, are we? Mind you don't knock my potions. Definitely you can afford to replace them. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Glad you came. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat. And I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wiganweld potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, uh, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wiganwell potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying travelling vendors with Wiganwell potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Revelio. You're worrying far too much. Nobody's looking at you. Look at that boy. Why did you buy me a second pair?
Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Rebellion. Rebellion. We lived here, I wonder. Rebellion. I dream of making a special world. Ah, up at Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Spot? Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganwell potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Sprottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Serona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden. Learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. Shane Bardolph. Rebellion. Magic was the answer. I reckon Brookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. It's like a place 
right out of a storybook. Rebellion. Rebellion. Bard of Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Rebellion. Mind now, dummy guys. I should investigate. Hello, Hamora. Rebellion. Loyalists are a menace. What can be done? Revelio. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Revelio. Incendio. Rebellion. 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 Wonder who lives here. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Revelio. Rebellion. Lumos. Incendio. Revelio. This must be the cavern Mrs. Bottle mentioned. Clumps to Mrs. Sprottle, but I still need to visit the cave to find Sarona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll find more. Better have a look around. See about the Hawk Clumps and box of letters. That's all the Hawk Clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Revelio. Incendio. Confringo. Rebellion. Incendio. Confringo. Huh. 
Revelio. Rebellion. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or avoid it altogether. Leviosa. Rest easy, my large friend. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion.
Lumos. Revelio. 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 This must be Sorona's box of letters. I should take this box of letters to Sorona. She'll be glad to have it back. I think that's everything. Sorona will be glad to have this back. Rebellion. Revelio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Hogsmeade, here I come. Rebellion. Revelio. Thank you enough for helping to save the village from the... Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. One of the letters mentions Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. We could have cheered them on together. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind, especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> she taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... <sighs> well, got me through some challenging times but it mildly. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her and for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. <laughs> 